So the question is, how do search engines rank websites? Well, first it's important to know what a search engine is and how it works. So a search engine basically has what's called a crawler, and the crawler is what basically crawls the web from point to point and across and down, and they'll, it'll follow a website, and that website will link to another website, and that website will link to another website, and so basically the entire internet becomes a web, and that's where the term comes from. So search engines have these bots that are automatic computers, which are supercomputers basically, that will crawl websites, it will scan the website, and it'll take all kinds of information about that website. It'll take the text within the body, it'll take the text within the titles, it'll take some of the text that you don't necessarily see on the page but are only really seen in some types of browsers or in the bare HTML code. And what it will do is it will index all of the different words to try and find out what is this page or what is this website in general about. Of course at that point then there's a lot more than it can go on. One of the things that it can go on for example is how old is the domain name or how long has a website been on this domain name. And so it'll take factors like if a domain's been around since 1996 versus a, uh, another one that's been around since only 2006, it's going to generally give more credibility to the one that's been around older. And that's only one factor, but that's one of the many things that, that a search engine will do when it's crawling a website, is it's gathering a whole bunch of information about that website and analyzing it. Now because the search engines will analyze all sites, what it will also do is it will try and evaluate how many different sites have a link to your site, for example. So if your site is being evaluated by the search engines, it's going to be evaluated based on the keywords that are found within the body text and the title text, as I previously mentioned. But it's also going to look for the text, for example, that's in what's called anchor text. And that's the text that you click on on a different website that will bring you to your website. So a hyperlink is basically where you can click the mouse and it will take the viewer from whatever site they're on to a different site. Now, if the destination site is your site, that's a good thing. You want to have as many links as possible from other external websites into your website. Think about it like a democratic process. Every website that has a link from it to you counts as a vote. A vote by that website for your website. And so as many votes as you can get, the more popular your site will be seen. The more credible your site will be seen. And so what Google has kind of done when they, they changed the game a bit, when they introduced their algorithm, when they got very popular, and what happened is they started not only just looking at the meta tags, not only just looking at the keywords that are on the page, but they really started focusing on what does the democratic nature of the internet have to say about this particular website. And if you have a lot of links from different websites to your website, it speaks highly about the credibility and the usability and the functionality of your website. So to summarize, Google's, or any search engine for that matter, will scan your website, find out what words are on your website so that it knows the topical nature, the content of your website. It will then look at the rest of the internet and find out how many votes do you have coming in via hyperlinks to your website, which shows the credibility of that. And then it will also look at things like your age of your domain. It'll look at how active your, your social media campaigns are like Twitter and your Facebook page, how many Facebook likes you have, how many Google Plus ones that you have, and, and how many different people tweet your uh, website link or, or different links to your website in general. So it'll look at all of those things and it will then determine which ones are the best results to return for certain keywords.